Belinda Buckles, born in 1962, has never had what one would call an easy life. Growing up in southern Illinois on her parents' farm, she was known as a tomboy. That label never gave her much luck with the male persuasion. She dropped out of her school in the 10th grade year and never went back, even though her dream was to become a nurse. She was forced to move out and eventually got a job as a nurse's aide to support herself. All her life, Belinda had a dream of having a home full of children. But as Belinda aged with no man to help her out with that, her hopes were being squashed. She had tried using classified ads and later with the development of the internet, dabbled in Dr. Phil's guaranteed eHarmony matchmaking website. Well, Dr. Phil was wrong and Belinda is still alone. Every day, Belinda grows more bitter and hates her job working as a nurse's aide in an assisted living facility. In her bitterness, Belinda has turned to the spirits and not the religious kind. Every day, Belinda has about six glasses of her favorite concoction, rum and Coke. Sometimes she even slips them in while she's at work, which brings us to the present day. Mrs. Jones! Oh, not for your <laughs> no. Sarah Jones? What's, what's your name? No. Stacy Jones? No, you gotta they both start with S's, so I think you're gonna be okay. <clears throat> Open, oh, wait for me to get this open and then you better open wide. Oh, Luna, All right, here we go. Oh, what are you doing? I'm giving What her, are you doing? I'm giving her her medicines. Why? <laughs> Why are you giving her morphine? She does not need morphine. It says Sarah Stacy Jones on her thing. Where did you come from? I've worked here for a really long time. Really? I'm pretty sure I've never seen you here before. And what are you doing here with morphine? Go! Get out of here! You need to walk all that fat off! Anyway, go! I'll show you some exercise. At that moment, Belinda was finally caught drinking on the job. That wasn't water in her water bottle! Belinda was given the option to either go to rehab or never work again. So after much debate, Belinda decided to acquiesce the request and attend rehab, have, 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 have. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to share? Yes, you? Hi, my name is Linda Buckles and I'm a raging alcoholic. Hi, Linda. Belinda was getting settled into her life at rehab and was making progress at curbing her addictions. On the third evening, after eating a meal of Texas toast topped with chicken, french fries, and smothered in white cheddar cheese, Belinda begins to feel pain in her epigastric area that begins to radiate towards her back. Belinda was in extreme pain. Belinda was rushed to the hospital where she was diagnosed with pancreatitis. She was put on bed rest for a few days and received no food or liquids by mouth as well. While in recovery, Belinda's nurse was trying to come up with some nursing diagnoses. Hmm. Eureka! For my first nursing diagnosis, it will be role relationship pattern, and the diagnosis will be dysfunctional family process, alcoholism, related to inadequate coping skills, as evidenced by using alcohol in response to feelings of rejection, anger, and loneliness. Our, uh, some inter intervent interventions for this one would be to refer the family to a health professional specializing in substance abuse, determining family's level of recognition and, of problems, and rationale for this would be to provide long-term support and to indicate level of acknowledgement of problems. And for my second nursing diagnosis, it'll be nutritional and metabolic pattern, with the diagnosis being imbalanced nutrition, more than the body requires, related to excess intake in relation to metabolic needs, sedentary lifestyle, and dysfunctional eating habits, as evidenced by eating when the client's upset, client reporting lack of exercise, and being overweight by 20% of her ideal body weight. Interventions for this one would be review patient's activity and dietary patterns, weigh patient every day at the same time in the same clothing, and the rationale for this would be to provide basic information and show the progress of weight loss goals. Hi, Belinda, it's so good to see you on your feet today. How are you doing? Good, I'm kind of sore still. So. Well, it's understandable. That's what we're going to talk to you about your pancreatitis today to prevent any other complications with it. We're going to do some learning? Yes. Oh, I hear my phone. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. 
Well, Linda, I want to commend you first off by going to rehab to help you with your drinking problem because we know that alcohol was a big factor in causing your pancreas. I drew you a picture to help you try to kind of understand what alcohol does to your pancreas to cause pancreatitis. So we know that your favorite alcohol is rum. So you drink it and it goes down to your stomach where it is absorbed for the most part. And when it doesn't get absorbed, it goes into the pancreas. When it's in the pancreas, we have hormones that produce, um, I'm sorry, we have cells in the pancreas that produce hormones and these hormones go from the pancreas into the small intestine. Like I said right here, that's normal. What alcohol does is that it causes the hormones to remain in the pancreas and pancreatic cells get destroyed. So your pancreas becomes inflamed and you're not having the proper digestion that you should be in pan and with pancreatitis. So with prolonged uh, pancreatitis, you have the chance of developing diabetes. So we're going to put you on a diet that's similar in some aspects to a diabetic diet and that we're putting you on an 1800 calorie diet and we're going to put you on a diet plan that would decrease uh, gastrointestinal stimulation. So we're going to go ahead and talk about what kind of diet we're going to put you on. Well, you want to come have a seat next to me so I can show you this? Sure. Okay, first I'm going to give you some sheets about what I talked to you about earlier about alcoholic pancreatitis and what alcohol does to you and also exactly what pancreatitis is. Now the 24-hour diet plan that we came up for you was a low-fat diet because we want the least amount of pancreatic stimulation as possible. But don't worry, there are still plenty of good food choices out, out there for you good. that you'll enjoy. Um, and I'll talk to you about that in just a second. There's also um, another article you can read about. Hmm. All right. That's interesting. So for your first meal, we have a breakfast with a half a cup of skim milk, one cup of cornflakes, and a medium-sized banana. And then for your first snack, you could have something like a six-ounce low-fat fruit variety of yogurt and eight ounces of water because we want a lot of liquid. I love yogurt. Great. Mm. That's perfect. Then for lunch, you could have a small apple. Um, you could then have a healthy choice cacciatore chicken pasta with veggies and sauce. Doesn't mm. that sound good? That doesn't sound as bad as I thought that that I know. would be. And a 12-ounce sugar-free crystal light. And then for your second snack, you can have a half a peanut butter sandwich and half a cup of skim milk. Then for dinner, you can have fish and dark green veggies with soy sauce and two servings of corn, and a 12-ounce apple cranberry juice. Then for dessert, get this, a half-covered chocolate banana with nuts. Ooh, I love bananas. So is all this stuff going to be pretty easy to find at the store? It's, it's very easy to find in the store, and you can look at this and come up with um, different diets based off of this. Um, and you can do something just like this. Hold on, let me go eat some rice. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Blunda, if you want, while I'm on the phone, you can go ahead and take a look uh, at the diet plan and get a better idea of it. Doesn't look too shabby to me. Sorry about that, Belinda. Oh, you're fine. Okay, well... I'm going to give you some pamphlets that you can use, and it's just information on how to keep a low-fat diet and other good dietary eating habits. Well, I have to run to the grocery store and get all those great foods for my Well, belly. good luck. I hope you have a great time in the store and get some healthy choices. Thanks. Good luck. Bye.